And I yelled out of the car, hey, Rip. And he turned around and I said, you ain't fucking Rip. <laughs> and he kept walking. He was like, fuck you, in, in a total New York fashion. Hi, Cole, how are you? Good, how you doing? I'm good. This is this is the couch where my husband and I sit and and watch you. I see the week, TV. So. Yeah. Well, welcome relaxing. to our living room. <laughs> it, it is, except when we're watching you, then it's actually very tense and thrilling. Oh, so, really? um, what, what part is tense for you? Um, well, basically every episode where I'm terrified that something is going to happen to you or Beth, because oh, I feel it. like that's just a paranoia that we all live with because we love you both so much. Oh, that's sweet. Thank you. I kind of look at at your love story as a, a Wuthering Heights type of thing. How do you mm. view Rip and Beth? I'm like two kids that are madly in love and who've always been madly in love, you know, together. They're like, you know, when, when everybody's, when she's done doing her job and I'm done doing mine on the ranch, you know, and, and her business, it's, I, I, I don't know. I look at the way that we play it sometimes is like two kids that are just madly in love. I love that. I also, since I am in Seattle, I feel like it's worth mentioning that your first experiences ever on a ranch were in the Pacific Northwest. In Oregon, yeah, in Ashland. Does it yeah. feel like it kind of sets you up, for, or does it feel like weirdly full circle? How have you perceived that? Um, I think there was, you know, definitely some destiny in eventually playing a cowboy of some kind. I mean, I grew up on a horse, you know, I mean, not before I could walk, but pretty close after. And, um, you know, the idea that I've been able to not just ride, but also learn the levels of, of the discipline, whether it's raining or roping or, you know, um, cutting. And so from some of the greatest cowboys in the country, it's been just an absolute dream come true. I don't know if you saw it, but uh, Washington native Chris Pratt dressed up as Rip for Halloween this year. I did see that, yeah. <laughs> it was pretty impressive. But I mean, is that like... I need to just... send him some proper duds, though. <laughs> you sh some I'm shades. sure he would love that. Next yeah. year, he's going to get a little package. <laughs> <laughs> is that just one of the longest list of surreal things that have happened over the past few years for you? I think the most surreal thing I've seen lately is I was here actually for Halloween in New York and I was driving in from New Jersey uh, with my family. And as we pulled into the, the hotel or close by it, there was a guy who was walking as Rip and he had like a plastic cowboy hat on the black jacket. And I yelled out of the car, Hey, Rip. He turned around. And I said, you ain't fucking rip. <laughs> and he kept walking. He was like, fuck you. In, in a total New York fashion. <laughs> <laughs> he but probably was, told I, his friends later, some guy who looked just like Cole Hauser <laughs> told me you're not. No, he did rip. not think it was me. <laughs> I can guarantee you. <laughs> um, should we warn people that in episode one, they need to prepare themselves for some things that you say to Beth that might make them melt? I might be speaking from experience when I say this. Do you see the first episode? I've seen the first one, only the okay. first one. Yeah. Okay. Is that you, safe to see? The scene in the kitchen, right? Yeah. That's a nice one, isn't it? It's a nice Beautiful one. Writing. I love that scene. Can I tell my husband I didn't mean to cheat on him by watching the first one? I had to do it for work. Will he forgive me? <laughs> you may. Okay, good. I'll allow you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I know you have a million other people to talk to, but thanks so much for all the entertainment. And also Goodwill Hunting is like my top three ever. Happy. So it's so fun that you have just entertained me all of these years. I appreciate oh, it. Thank you so much. All right. You take Great care. Bye-bye.